Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys we'll be profiling my friend Pee Wee's Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Uh, you saw this in the duel earlier in the tournament, so without further ado, let's profile the deck profile. So, anything you want to say first, man, before we get to the deck profile? Not really, just play the deck. And we can't wait for Gospel of Revival, I know that. <laughs> Okay. All right, so with that. I am playing Blue Eyes because uh, I don't like Kaiba. And I'm trying to pro prove a point to people that Kaiba sucks. Oh, hey, 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 it's pretty competitive and it will just get better as you know. So I'll just explain why I'm playing three blue eyes. You play three because you need this is at the the best combo piece in your deck. Uh, it's a trade-in target. Uh, you can special summon from the deck, from the hand, from the graveyard. Uh, at times I wish I could side one out, but you you can't. Uh, this is the heart and soul of the deck. Yeah. So you play three because you must. It's necessary to run three and blue eyes, which is kind of cool. If but, you haven't yeah. summoned all three blue eyes, you haven't lived. Li yeah, I, I would agree to this man on that, even though he does uh, like Kaiba. You play the three of the best card in the deck. Uh, this guy's a Stratos. Uh, don't unban Stratos, Konami. <laughs> uh, when this card is summoned, it lets you fetch any of your little guys. Uh, if you need uh, Dragon Tuners for your uh, Cards of Consonants, he gets you there. If you need a Maiden or an Effect Veiler, which I play with the one. Uh, this card is it's really good. Like if you open with this and a terraforming, you're probably gonna win the game. Uh, three of the new stone inventions. Uh, the reason why you play three is because it has two really crucial effects. Uh, one, the, the first effect is if, if this card's in your graveyard, you can uh, special summon one blue eyes from your deck yep. on the end phase. And if this card's in your graveyard, if you have trade ins, uh, the trade ins become pot of greed because you pick up a blue eyes from the graveyard and draw two cards. So it's really strong. Uh, it's a trade in, tar I mean, cards of constant target, and it's a tuner. And it's searchable, so you play 3 0 for right now. Uh, this card will be cut to 2 once we get more support, but right now, 3. 2 of this card, she's slow as hell. But she's really good in but combo. Yeah, it's such a trick to the she's deck. She's really yeah. good to combo up. Yeah. If you open Sage, and like I said, Sage and Terraforming, you probably will win because you can do some ridiculous uh, plays with this. Especially, I played uh, the field spell. Secret Village of the Spellcaster, which you oh. can search. Yes, that's right. So true. she and Secret Village is really strong. Yeah. So two of right now. Three is too many. One is not enough. And this card will be coming out soon too. So two. Uh, two of the new Blue Eye Spirit. Uh, three. Three. Uh, you play two of this because. It's a trade-in target, and this card with the revival cards, it's it's like an MST. It yeah. banishes the card. And that the you awesome thing is, it actually banishes. So yeah, that's that, that's, nice. that's actually very very clutch. Against Cosmo, you banish their towns and they don't get them back. It's it's so good. Like this is the card you want to be special summoning out of your uh, Silver Scry and your Call of the Hornets if you're playing. But Thank two, you. three is overkill. Yeah, I agree. I play this card because I'm mad. Uh, you shouldn't be playing this card. This card is awful in the meta right now. Uh, the only reason why I'm playing it is because if you play against BA, they're gonna summon like four Beatrice on you. Not really, because they're three. But you need something to combat those boards. So having this in your hand against BK Fire is really helpful. Game two and three it comes out, so you shouldn't be playing this right now. So two and one Veiler because it's searchable. You can set add it from the deck or the graveyard to the hand. And it's a tuner. It's pretty good. It should be banned, but uh, one of this card. Uh, this card is actually really good. A lot of people give me crap. Is that a master? Master, yeah. He's actually pretty good too. I like. I mean, he gets back the dragon synchro from the graveyard, so that's nuts. Uh, and on, when he's normal summon, he lets you add Valor back, so that's... Do you have uh, trouble trying to get him to the graveyard, though, sometimes? Uh, I play one Foolish Burial. You'll see in my spell line. Oh, okay. Uh, I play one Foolish Burial, mainly for him. If I wasn't playing him, I would cut the Foolish, but that's later, and, you know... I understand Once completely. we get the new cards, he'll come out. Uh, one of this card, because he gets you blue eyes. At, at times you need a... Uh, if you open this and Cards of Consonants, 
gets you the, uh, this will get you the blue eyes, and you play three uh, three tradents. So that's a plus two. Yeah. And this works out beautifully with Dragon Yeah, Spike. especially Dark yeah. Matter Dragon Two. It's another name. It's actually pretty exactly. much. It's probably going to stay in the Yeah, deck, I wouldn't play yeah. more than one. But, yeah, uh, definitely. For the last monster, I played Glow Bulb because the best tuner that you can play in this deck. And it's another Foolish Sparrow yeah. target, I Basically, guess, you too. can make two level, eight, two level 9 synchros or a level 9 and a level 8 and Crystal Wing synchros. So this card's actually very good. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it even with the new support. Thank you. That's it for the monsters. I play like 14, 15, I believe. I want to say 16, but uh, for the spells, three trade ins. Man, uh, staple. Pot of Greed, essentially. Uh, this is really good. At times, I draw this and no blue eyes, or blue eyes and no this. It sucks. Yeah. But again, if you see a blue eyes and a stone, these become this become a Pot of Greed because you pick up the blue eyes from the graveyard and just pitch it to draw more. Three of this card because it's an MSD. Now, question: Would you still run maybe one of those because it's a quick play? Does it, when Gospel Revival comes out? I would play out? two and three, and yeah. Soul Charge. But uh, right now, I'm playing three because this card is insane. Uh, you can only play once per turn, but you can play one on your turn, one on your opponent. Yep. And if you're playing against Pendulums, you just banish their scales. If you're playing against like Demise decks, you end face anything that you is threatening. Against Monarchs, you hit anything. And it's great with Spirit too because you can hit things. Yeah, this card is great. Yeah. This card is really, really good. Uh, I'm playing two field spells, and two turf formings, because actually, let me show you this too. Are you running another? Yeah, I play two, two, and one. Ah, I see now. You don't want to play three of this because you don't want to see it that, much, that often. One is all you need. Uh, like I said, if you open this, this, or Sage, it's probably game. But I play two and two because the, the ratio I think is better. Uh, three becomes too cloggy and three terraformings and one in each. It's yeah. not a good this idea. This is a very good tech in the deck. I will admit to it's that. It's really good against monarchs because they need to summon idos. Once you do, and if you have spirit, you just bounce it away for moonlight, and their their turn is over. And you can do plays when your turn. So it's actually pretty nice. I like this a lot. Even though I will be cutting this five cards when the new support comes out, yeah. but as of right now, this is the best you can do. So. Five, the field spells, sweet. A uh, chicken game would be in here if I was at one, but... Uh, two of this card, because at times, you need to foolish two dragons instead of one. Uh, and doing that, it puts you ahead, especially if you have trade-ins. Because you can foolish yep. two and draw two and deck them super hard. I kind of want to play three, but it's only once per turn. Yeah. I and by know. turn three, you have no dragons in the deck to, to and send. And you also, do you, have, do you run Dark Matter too? Yeah, Dark yeah Matter. so you have multiple ways. So yeah. two, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm considering a three, but two is okay. Let's do Foolish Burial, because for Master and Global, I like, there are some hints that you get that are, might seem unplayable to a lot of people that don't know the deck, but Foolish Burial has become one of the combo pieces to a, a lot of decks, like in Monarchs it unbricks you, and this deck makes really good boards with this and Terraforming, and, yeah. a, and a revival car it's actually a game it's really good uh, it's, it's mainly here for Master again, and uh Global, but Foolish Burial is actually very much. I'm playing the Foolish Burial instead of the Third Shrine, just for that. It gives me versatility. It's in Global, because at times I need a tuner, and that's the only way that you can get this out. Uh, one up star, because 39 card decks. Uh, one string of memories. I'm not playing two or three, because this card is awful. And that's probably going to come out when... Uh, your guy yeah. gets blown up in the end phase. <laughs> Usually Synchro exceeds with it, but uh, having a Revival card is pretty clutch, and this will be coming out in two weeks. Uh, one card's countenance because it's cluggy, uh, at times you don't want to see the stones in your hand because you want them in the graveyard, yep. and this is just another draw. It's basically upstart, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is, it's just upstart. Like upstart theory, oh, just play, play a bunch of draw cards so your deck is thinner and you can see your combo pieces, this is what it is. Yeah. Like, but it's like level up. And one of the best cards in my deck, because if you have this, you win. Uh, you draw this, you win. Yeah. Uh, you soul charge for five yeah. all the time. And, and you get silver's cross. You get the silver dragon's effect off again. So because it's special sun. Oh my god! I love soul charge in this deck. It's a real card. So I yes. Guess. So that's uh, all my spells. I'm not playing one for one because this deck can't really afford the discard outlet. I don't think getting Maiden is 
very important. Like that, I'd rather normal summon or search it. Getting global would be so bad, but I wouldn't do it. I understand. And for the traps to play two breakthrough skills, because you need to outflug it monsters, uh, especially uh, the fiends, vanities, majesties, and dark law. I want to play windblast, but I think this card is a little better right now. And I would honestly keep these two, even when the support comes out, because I find this card very useful. And for the last spell, trap card, uh, this card, it's fair. And it's that. Yeah. It's another real card, so I guess. So I play. That's sort of this trap. That's the main deck. That's 40 cards. 41. I can't remember. Royal Christian 2.0. Uh, for the extra deck, three of this card. Uh, this is honestly this is the reason why I'm playing this deck because of this card. This yeah, I agree. Great. It has like 20 effects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so many applications. It's so good. Uh, the card is nuts. Uh, if you don't know what it does, I will tell you. As long as this card is face up on the field, you and your opponent cannot special summon two or more monsters at once. So that's really good against. Pendulums. Uh, it has an effect that you can tribute it to special summon a light dragon synchro from your extra deck. Shh, what? Thank you. Oh, I was about to say Spe something. It special summons a dragon from your extra deck. So it has a lot of utility. And it negates a spell. I mean, it negates its a car activation. So it's really clutch. Uh, I think three is mandatory. Two is not. Okay. Two is not. I understand. So three. You play three. You Do you can't find yourself three. going to the third one you usually? For, for an extra one because you need three. You have four bolts. Yeah. Sorry. I'm thinking yeah, you, make, you make it all the time. That's what it is. You make yeah, it one. You make it two. You make it three. And, you play two of this because people like to play kaijus. <laughs> and if you're fearing a slumber, you tribute this off to special this, and now your guys are protected. I mean, if they tribute this, a, a kaiju over this, then you're screwed, but whatever. Uh, this card's really clutch. Usually, if I summon this first turn, on my opponent's end phase, I would tribute it for this so I can keep comboing off. Agreed. I mean, at times you don't have to do that, but getting two level 8 dragons on the following turn is actually pretty easy. So, summoning this in a Rick 8, it's probably game because Monarch is the only deck that has a lot of big beaters but in Cosmos, but we don't count Cosmos. Uh, uh, for my uh, targets for this guy, uh, Moonlight Rose is nuts. This card is insanely good. It has so much utility in the deck. Being a level uh, level 7 light dragon and a sick pro helps to make Crystal Wing. You can interrupt your opponent's play with this, it's awesome. It's really, really good. There's no way to make it except uh, by summoning from this, but yeah. this card is clutch. One Michael, random removal. If your opponent has a floodgate that you need to deal with, uh, he will do it. He's a dragon again, synchro. So I played these two because they're the best targets that you can summon uh, from this. I guess Ancient Fair Dragon wouldn't be so bad. Because you have so many field spells. That's what they're saying. coming out. The field spells are coming out. Yeah, so that's so. true. These two are, are great. Uh, he's removal, he's big. He mills in the end phase, but he gets blown up. So I guess. And for the last target, I play this. Because there's a play that you can summon Maiden. Yep. People don't the spell understand this, that. I don't know you protect this yes. for the turn. And then on the next turn, you protect Maiden so it doesn't die. You get a Blue Eyes. You have this and Maiden with this field spell. And then you have another Synchro, level 9. And next turn, you summon another Blue Eyes. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's all, it, this card is actually really good. Even though I like starters, the regular starters better. But this card is really good in this deck. Especially with combos with Maiden. Yeah. Yeah. And for the best Synchro that we've gotten in a while, this card. Clear Wing! Uh, this card is insane. Now, do you want to explain to everybody how you make Clear Wing? With Michael, you don't make this. Uh, yep. You just have it here to show off. No, I'll, I will show you how. <laughs> Basically, if you have this in a level one tuner, you tribute this off and summon one of these two, whatever you need at that time. Like if you need random yep. removal, you go for this. If you need to balance your opponent's monster so you can hit him for 3k, you summon this. Doesn't matter which one you summon. 
and you have the tuner, uh, you can make this. Yep, by going into that. Yep. Uh, I used to play Ancient Fairy Dragon, and Ancient Fairy Dragon was actually really nice with this combo as well, because even if you couldn't have two tuners on board, you can trigger this off for Ancient Fairy Dragon, search another field spell, and then you use its effect to special summon a level 4 or lower monster. Super hand, so you have Ancient Fairy and a tuner that you just special summon, and you make this. That works. And right now it's not very powerful because Gospel Revival isn't out, but once it comes out, oh. it's over. Because you can protect oh, it and bring it back. Mm. It's kind of nuts. I love that card. Uh, that's it for Synchros. Uh, just dragons. I know, I love my dragons. For the Xyz, for Falgren because it comes up yep. a lot. I cut Ancient Fairy for this. Uh, this is only here against, for against Monarchs. Uh, you need to stop Erebus somehow. Erebus, the only card that this deck loses to really hard is Erebus. It doesn't target, it just spins your dragons. So you summon this and protect itself. Because they're gonna store forth it anyway, so you protect it. It comes up a lot. Uh, this guy that. is really good against monarchs as well. You have a really good monarch matchup. Uh, this this guy cripples monarchs. Monarch and pendulum really. This guy yeah. hurts monarchs. This guy hurts monarchs. This guy hurts monarchs. So, you have a real good monarch matchup. But th he just negates anything. He's a generic out to a lot of spells. You have to play this card smart. A lot of people bait it and Raigeki. So you want you want to stop the Raigekis in the store for well. So I play one. I also want to play two, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm playing this because he gets bottomless every time you summon. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. This is like Direwolf. In a rank 8 deck, this is the Direwolf of the, of the rank 8. You summon this card when you know you're going to kill him and they have a backer like, okay, you have to answer this. They answer and you're just like, game. This card gets bottomless all the time. I'm playing a Galaxy XCs. Uh, this guy because he gets yep. really big, really quick. <coughs> That's what she said. Uh, you take half damage, but... It's what it's four thousand. He beats over towers like most. Yep. Uh, you have this guy to pop face up. He's four thousand, and your opponent doesn't take half damage. So you play one, and one of this card because it's four thousand. And it's great. Yeah, and it lets you send dragons. And it's used. Once you use this effect, you're it's probably going to win. Yeah. Because you decked in so hard, and start drawing all your spells, and outing a four thousand beater in their first turn is not easy. So uh, I only summoned this once. I, I have only summoned this one time, honestly. So. This is an early game card, not a late game card. Yeah. You play it. But when you get it out, you know you've won. And for the last monster and the extra deck, I played this. Twin burst. I have never summoned this. I only have this in the extra deck because I pulled one. You'd never make this. Uh, then you'd rather make it rank A than this. Yeah. This card shouldn't be in the extra deck, but I'm playing it because I have one. It's blue as my dragon nostalgia. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right? If your opponent has a dark, uh, dark planet, this is your add to it. Yeah. But how are you going to get two blue eyes? Well, yeah, you can't even summon this if they have dark planet because you need spells. And alternative doesn't count because it's blue eyes white dragon, not the new guys. Not alternative for blue eyes on the field. I thought so too, but uh, I, can't, sure. I can't remember. It's well, been a while. That's it for the extra deck. The side deck is yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I so, want to yeah. show you my my side deck, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we're I'll running out of time, guys. The camera's about to die on me, actually. Uh, that that's that deck profile. That's my take on blue eyes. Anything else you want to say, man? I'm sorry I couldn't go over the side deck, guys. My camera's about to die. <laughs> Check out my channel, I guess. Yeah. It will be. So yeah, he, and there's Suji over there, the man he was doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm shout out. Shout out to all my friends yep. who drive me around. You know who you are. Uh, well, thanks. Yeah. Th thank you, man, so much. Yeah. Yeah, this man over here. <laughs> All right, so uh, till next time, guys. Shout out to Hoodbridge. Uh, till next time, guys. Take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. We we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.